Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I was thinking about it and I really haven't done like a favorites video or anything like that in quite a long time. So, I thought it would be a time to kind of do one and share some things that I have been buying with you guys. But instead of doing a favorites, it's just kind of going to be more of a review. I thought I would just share some of the things I've purchased lately and let you know what I think about them and yeah, just kind of more of a review style video than a favorites. Um, I have a few things here that I've bought over the past couple of months. This all isn't from September because I haven't done a video like this in a while. So it's from the past couple of months, but I've got a few things here that I want to share. And kind of cool because a lot of it is drugstore. And I have really been pushing myself to try more drugstore type products. Um, I, you guys probably, some of you may know my feelings on drugstore products from New Zealand, but I just feel like the prices don't reflect drugstore. I mean, at the drugstore in the US, you buy a foundation for, I don't know, 10 to $15 or something like that. Here, they're like $40. And I just don't feel like that's really drugstore. <laughs> I don't know. So, okay, anyway, we'll end the rant. But yeah, I have a few drugstore products in this little review. And yeah, let's just get into it. So. I'll start off with base products. Um, these two foundations are like, everyone is talking about these and I just wanted to try them for myself. Um, I'm very picky about foundation and trying the drugstore ones was kind of like, I was like really reluctant to do it because I just feel like I don't end up really loving them most of the time. So anyway, I picked up both of these two. Um, these are the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I've been wearing these two both lately. I kind of have been switching between the two to kind of figure out which one I like better. Um, and I don't really know if I could say that at this point if I have a favorite one. So the L'Oreal one, this is definitely a matte foundation. It is quite long wearing um, and that says a lot coming from me because I have oily skin so normally for me I'll get like max six really good uh, like six really good hours of wear out of most foundations before I need to definitely touch up but this I feel like it lasts a lot longer like maybe closer to eight to ten hours um, and I still do get a little bit shiny I mean that's just my skin I'm gonna get shiny I have oily skin but this doesn't really break up on me like a lot of other ones do so I actually really have been loving this it's a good formula it gives medium to full coverage I would say I have been applying this with a beauty blender most days because I don't like super super full coverage foundations I kind of like them to look a little bit more natural looking um, especially in the daytime like I don't want to look full full glam most times during the day so Yes, I apply this with a, a beauty blender or a beauty sponge, whatever you want to use. Um, and it kind of gives the finish that I prefer. So, and I'm in the color sand. This one, really I have to have self tan on for the shade to work for me. So this is quite dark. Like if I wasn't tan, I would probably go two shades lighter than this. But yeah, really loving this. And now for the Maybelline one. This one is to me not really matte like I don't think this is a matte foundation even though it says matte and poreless and I'm not really convinced on the poreless thing either I do like the finish of this though so I'm not hating on it um, I think this more gives like a kind of natural finish versus matte it, I still have a bit of do with this and to be honest with you I'm not mad at that like I don't even mind that at all um, I got the shade 220 natural beige in this one as well and again this would be too dark for me if I wasn't self tanning um, but I usually have a bit of self tanner on so I tend to buy my foundations like a few shades darker than my actual skin tone just because I get more wear out of them that way um, this one is not as long wearing for me in comparison to the L'Oreal I feel like this one I go shiny a little bit faster and it does break up a little bit more than the L'Oreal one. So, I don't know, I like this one if I'm not needing to have like a long time to wear it. Like, if I'm just going out for like an afternoon or just a 
quiet evening or something like that, not gonna be out for a long time. I don't mind this one. And I actually really like the finish of it when I first put it on, but it's definitely not as long wearing. I, again, have been applying this with a beauty blender because I just like the finish that a beauty blender gives with this foundation. Um, I've tried it with a brush as well and it just, I don't know, it didn't blend as well for me. I just prefer using my sponge. So yeah, but that's those two. So if you're someone who likes drugstore foundations or it's just more in your price range, definitely give these two a try. Um, this one is 23 New Zealand dollars, whereas this one is, I think I paid 39 New Zealand dollars for this one, so this one's a little bit more affordable, which I like that, so yeah, I would give them a try. Worth it. Um, the next thing I have from the drugstore is this concealer. This is from Maybelline as well. This is the Fit Me Concealer, and I got the shade Fair, number 15. Um, I like this. I would say this is quite comparable to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, and I am a huge fan of that NARS concealer, so that was cool for me when I felt like this was comparable. Um, I think this was maybe also around $20, I think. I don't remember, to be honest, but pretty good for the price. Actually, I think I will continue to repurchase this. I think it's um, quite a good option for drugstore and in line with the price. I like it. Okay, next skin item. This one was a bit of a fail for me, and I was so upset because I really, 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 really wanted to love this. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Foundation, and I got this at Mecca, and I'm so stupid because I didn't get a sample of it before I decided to buy it. I was just like that hopeful. I was like, no, I think it'll be great. I swatched it on my hand. I really liked it. And then I got it home and I wore it and I was like, oh no, like, no, I don't like this at all. It's horrible for my skin. And I'm sure there's some of you out there who actually really love this, but I'll tell you why I don't like it. So I already told you I have oily skin and I tend to have like larger pores too, like around here as well. And this for me just accentuated that so much. And because I'm oily, it just slid all over the place. I tried setting it with powder, I tried not putting it in here and just only putting concealer there and just using this on the rest of my face. Still, no, this does not work for me and again, like I was so sad. I also think I got a shade too light. I got bare shell, which when I put it on, I'm like, whoa, like I look really pale. Um, so yeah, this was a bit of a fail for me. If you are someone who likes this, please comment down like below and let us know why you like it, like maybe what your skin type is, because I'm sure there's people out there who would love to know who this does work for, but for me, it just kind of sat on top of my skin, made my pores look worse, um, and it just like, it like melted. It, it almost just didn't set at all. It was just like sliding all over my face all day long, and I don't know, it's just, I was so upset about it. Because this wasn't cheap either, I think this is around $50. And that's the other thing. If you are gonna buy a new foundation, get a sample first. Like honestly, sample it. Most beauty counters will give you a sample and that way you don't end up wasting your money. So, ugh, fail, But Okay, moving on. So, we'll go back to some drugstore stuff. This, okay, this is the kind of, this is the last kind of skincare thing that I have. This is from Garnier and it's a primer. Um, this is the 5 Second Blur um, Smoothing Base Perfector, and I'm in two minds about this, okay? On the one hand, I love it because it really smooths out your skin, kind of evens out the texture of your skin, and it's a little bit hydrating as well, I would say, but it makes me break out. I'm pretty sure it makes me break out. So I don't use this on an everyday basis. I kind of more have just been using this when I am gonna go a little bit more full glam. Maybe I'm going out for the night or something like that. I will put this on and just just kind of deal with it. Maybe the next day if I get a little pimple or something. But I'm pretty sure this is making me break out a little. Um, but it makes the app oh, shit. Um, just throw it. It makes the application of your foundation 
really, really flawless. So I'm kind of annoyed that it makes me break out, but that's just life. Okay, moving on. We will go to this product. Okay. I'm sure a lot of you are like, oh my god, you're so late to the party, but I, believe it or not, have never tried anything from Lush up until, like, I think mid-August or something like that. So, and the funniest part is the reason why is because their stores are really overwhelming to me. Like, I just hardly can stand going in them. It's, like, always really loud, and it's just, like, everything just seems, like, too overwhelming like how do you know what to pick and I don't know I've just always kind of steered clear just because of the environment um, that being said when I went into this Lush store the girl that helped me was so nice and they were actually so helpful and she showed me a bunch of products and so I'm over my fear of the store anyway but I bought this mask and this is mask of magnanimity oh my god I'm, I'm totally saying that wrong so yeah, I bought this mask and it's supposed to be one that kind of cleans out the pores, like really cleans your skin out and kind of helps prevent breakouts and like blackheads and stuff like that. So I have actually been loving this. It's kind of weird. It's like this green paste and obviously it's lush. Everything is all, you know, organic ingredients and all like things that occur naturally in the world <laughs> but it's very thick but mm, smells so good it smells like peppermint this yeah it it doesn't fully dry it doesn't go like completely crusty on the skin like for instance glam glow would go completely like it it goes hard you know and then you know it's time to wash it off this doesn't do that it kind of stays a little bit wet the whole time anyway you wash it off and it when you wash it off it just feels so fresh your skin feels really clean and I think it's really helping with my blackheads like on my nose and stuff so yeah I've really been liking this I would recommend trying it I'm definitely gonna go back and try some more stuff from them I want to try some of their um, face washes and stuff I've heard a lot about angels on bare skin so I think I'm gonna try that next but anyway I would recommend trying this if you, if you can Next up, I have a couple of brow products. I These are from the drugstore as well. And again, like, I don't know why I'm so anti-drugstore, but I was so skeptical because this stuff is not that cheap. Like, this brow gel was, I don't know, $27, and the pencil, I think, was $18 or something like that. But I actually have really been liking them both together, so can't hate. So the brow gel I got is from L'Oreal, it's the Brow Artist Plumper, and I got a shade darker than what I normally would. I got medium dark because, if you guys can tell, my roots are going dark and I plan to keep them dark, so I just kind of, my brows are kind of dark anyway, so I just kind of, you know, thought hey, roots are getting darker, I might as well go a little darker with the brows, and I've kind of been into that bold brow lately anyway, so I actually really like the color of this. The one thing I'll say is that when you take it out of the tube, the wand is good, like it's small. Um, God, why am I useless at that? It's small, but the formula is very, um, it's very wet, and there's a lot that comes out on this brush. So I always like scrape most of the product off before I use it. Otherwise, you just end up with way too much gel in your brows, and it looks crazy. But I actually really do like the formula of this, and it's tinted, obviously, so it kind of adds a little bit more darkness to the brow, but I like this. And the pencil is this Maybelline Brow Satin one, and this is dual-sided. So on the one side, you have like the gel pencil tip, and on the other side is this like smudger but there's powder in there and so the way I've been using this is I'll comb my brows with a spoolie and then I put this powder through and kind of like it's kind of waxy so it gets all the hairs into place and then I'll go in and fill in my sparse areas with the little waxy pencil end and then once I'm happy with like they're even 
as even as they can be. Um, then I'll set them with that gel. And I actually really have just been loving this combination. So I guess I'm converted to drugstore brown items. Okay. Next up, these are my last things from the drugstore. And these are from LA Girl. These are the long lasting all day eyeliners. And they're kind of a gel formula. I got them in three colors. So I got this navy blue, there's a dark purple, and this like turquoisey green one. And to be honest with you, I did not get these to use them as eyeliners. I got them to use them as eyeshadow bases. So I, whenever I do colorful eyeshadow looks, I tend to want a similar colored, more gel-like base underneath whatever shadow I'm going to use because that will A, intensify the color, and two, it prolongs the wear. And so that's really what I got these for. I haven't been using them as eyeliners, except for this one. I've been using this in my lower waterline sometimes, and it's quite pretty. It's just like a little pop of blue. It's quite dark, so you're like, is it blue? Is it black? I don't know, but I have been using this in my waterline. But this one is like my favorite for base color under like any color green eyeshadow blue eyeshadow it's like can you see how pigmented that is it's so gorgeous I'm actually gonna do a tutorial using this coming up soon so um, stay tuned for that one and um, this purple one is probably my least favorite for some reason I don't feel like the formula is the same it's like it doesn't go on as evenly but and it's quite dark like that doesn't even look purple really on the screen it more looks blue right but yeah, haven't been loving this one. I don't feel like it's as waxy. I don't know. And then this blue one, I do really like. It's definitely navy. And it looks really good under so many, like bright blue, maybe metallic sort of eyeshadows. This is such a good base. So that's a little trick for you guys. If you're wanting to do some colorful, like smoky eye type things, try using these gel eyeliners as a base first. Um, Okay, two more things. This is an eyeshadow, and I have been freaking loving this color lately. This is not a new color either. Like, I've had this in my collection for so long, but I've been reaching for it so much lately, and I just think it's stunning. It's like this bronzy, purpley, maroon shade, and it is metallic, so when you swatch it, it kind of like, it's like pink, purple, brown, like, I mean, honestly, like, it's so beautiful. And it's called Star Violet. So, I think I'm going to do a tutorial using this shadow as well, kind of the way I've been using it lately, so you guys can see. But, oh my god, this is so pretty, especially on green eyes. If you have green eyes, this color just like makes your eyes like pop so good. Okay, my last thing, because I always have to include lip products, is gonna be the lip color I'm wearing now. I think this is gonna be my go-to summer shade, actually. It definitely will be. So this is the NARS Larger Than Life Lip Gloss in Orgasm. This is just the mini. <laughs> Look how small it is. I got this in my Mecca Beauty Loop box, and I was like, oh, I've never tried you know, this shade. Like, I've got the blush, but I've never tried it in the lip gloss, so, but I love this, and I'm definitely gonna buy the full size. I think it's the perfect summery, corally, like, peachy, got a fleck of gold in it. I've used this in um, a few tutorials, but yeah, freaking love this. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. Um, if you want to comment on any of the things that I have mentioned in this video, please go ahead and do so down below in the comment section. Also, you can let me know some of your favorites. I always like to know what you guys are using. I love watching people's favorites videos or review videos and um, anything like that. So definitely let me know what you've been up to down in the comments. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and on Snapchat. Um, I'll link all of that stuff in the description box as well. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one.